All right, so what's your name? I'm Colin Percival. Colin, so what, what do you do? What brings you here to so reInvent? I, I'm, I'm the guy who got FreeBSD working in EC2. It's something I've been working for on for about six years. Uh, as you well know, I've been sending you emails over and over again for about six <laughs> years. Uh, I, I've, I've heard that uh, at one point, I just got an email from Colin was a common <laughs> phrase heard in AWS evangelism. Uh, I, I've now finally got it working. It's now in the marketplace. And I'm taking the opportunity while I'm here to meet a whole bunch of people I've been working with over the past six years and never actually met until now. So what, are, were, the, what were like the top two technical challenges involved in getting FreeBSD running? The, it, it really divides into issues with EC2 and issues with FreeBSD. Um, EC2 works based on the Zen hypervisor. Uh, there's, various, there's, there's essentially two different ways of doing hypervising. Um, there's power virtualization, which is the way that EC2 started out working. And there's something called hardware virtualization, which is sort of the way that things are going in the future. Um, power virtualization was really an, an ugly hack that was put in place because back in around 2003, Intel CPUs didn't really do virtualization. Okay. So did you find yourself kind of deep in the memory management code of the FreeBSD kernel then? Uh, I, I, I avoided it as much as I could because that code really scares me. But okay. yes, I, ha I had to work with that code. So for, for a long time, I was trying to get FreeBSD's power virtualization code working properly uh, so that it would be stable in EC2. And a lot of that involved spinning up instances and seeing that they crashed and looking at the, the back traces that it gave, printed out for me and then digging into the code and figuring out, so why exactly was that pointer null? Stuff like that. Interesting. So what kind of audience, or what kind of community is attracted to FreeBSD? What, what are the, the cool things about it? Well, F FreeBSD is very much a traditional Unix. I mean, it, it's the, the, the largest of the, the, the BSDs, which are based on Berkeley Unix. Um, so it, it's very much a, a traditional uh, do things the way that we've been doing things for 40 years. We figured out how to do things. This works really well. We don't need to fiddle with things. We don't need to reinvent the wheel. And, and, and one of the nice things about FreeBSD is that we have developers who are still active in the community who have actually been working ever since the 1970s. Since the it. dawn of FreeBSD. It, okay. well, so not, 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 not the dawn of FreeBSD, but the dawn of BSD. Oh, BSD back in Berkeley. OK, yeah. that's right. So what was kind of the attraction for you coming to the show? More to, more to speak or more to meet people and learn? I, I'm, I'm basically here to, to learn, uh, to, to meet people. I, I'm not speaking here. But there's lots of Amazon people here. As I say, I, I've, I've talked to them a lot over email. And some, sometimes Putting your face to the name, then. Absolutely. And, and, and sometimes meeting people in person, I can complain about things and get responses that I haven't gotten over email because sure. I didn't know the right people to talk to over email. Uh, in fact, at, at the moment, the, the top item on Hacker News is a blog post from me complaining about a bug in EC2 which I was talking to someone this morning, and hopefully it will get fixed. So 10 minutes ago, that top item was actually about Amazon Redshift, so things must have changed fast. <laughs> things always happen cool. fast in, in Amazon Web Services. Indeed, they do. All right, well, thanks for coming up to speak with us. OK. OK. Colin Percival.